Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, this video was triggered a few days ago. I can't remember how many days ago, but in a video I actually had to carefully position the camera so as not to reveal a little secret in the corner. Um, and the plan was that this video should have been posted on Saturday. It's now Sunday. Uh, the reason why no video was posted on Saturday is revealed at the end of my Sunday chat. They are linked. But it's later on Sunday now, and um, I, I've always gone along the lines to get at somebody, you should never get at lots of people to deal with one or some or whatever. So we'll forget the whole thing and we'll get on to the little secret that was hiding in the corner that is now fully revealed um, because I'm in the, I'm still, it's still Sunday, I'm still in the middle of water in my mounts and this one was right up the back of all of the big mounts which is why we didn't get to see it. It's back. <coughs> now this one's a bit special because not this time last year but in about two weeks time something like that this one would have been packing its bags and uh, making its way off to the um, Malvern International Orchid Show. Um, at that particular time, I had an email that said, if you've got stuff in flower, get it round to us. We're short of plants. We need to fill the stand. We really would like to aim at the gold again. We're not going to get the gold if we've got gaps in the display. Well, this was one that I had in flower, along with some others, I forget how many. So they were duly packaged and taken up to the um, vice chairman of the Orchid Society's place, where everything was being prepared in the garden, and um, coffee and cakes and things were supplied. So um, I found many reasons to stick around, <laughs> including the coffee and the cakes, but I helped, helped out getting stuff ready. A lot of that is just top dressing pots and you know, perhaps taking the odd dead leaf off, things like that, making sure everything had a label. Um, and that was it. And um, last year when I went to Melbourne, I, I decided to do the whole thing. My daughter Hannah didn't fancy coming. She'd been sort of two, two consecutive years before, including stopping overnight the previous year to make it a two day event. Now the event is actually a three day event. Um, but because my daughter wasn't coming, I decided to do the whole thing. So go up on the Thursday and join in with the evening festivities throughout the weekend, um, which was a bit of an eye-opener, to say the least. Um, so I headed on up there on Thursday, sort of later in the day. I had no plans on helping set up on the Thursday. I just wanted to get up there. So leisurely drive up, check into the hotel, and we ate in the hotel Thursday evening. Oh, hang on, let me just turn that off. It's distracting, to say the least. I turned the rest of the kit off, but forgot that bit. Yes, yeah, so anyway, um, the Thursday evening was, um, I'd say formal in the hotel anyway. Um, yeah, and that was done. Friday, everybody gets up, gets into breakfast as early as possible to get to the show as early as we're allowed in to see what we got, to see the judges, you know, what they've said. And um, basically, we got our gold for our display. So everybody was patting each other on the backs and all that sort of thing and celebrating with bacon rolls, <laughs> as is traditional. Um, anyway, um, you then start looking at uh, amongst the display. You've got the gold thing for the whole display, but in amongst that, there will be awards for individual plants. And, um, you know, I, I had a look over our stand, but because I do YouTube videos, that early on the Friday, with all the plants nice and fresh, was a very, very, very good time to get round and film. So I thought, right, I'm going to do my filming now, or a lot of it. <laughs> um, so away I went, and didn't take much notice of anything. Um, laugh, uh, you know, various other things happened, and later in the morning, somebody came up to me and said, are you going to put your plant in for judging? 
And I said, I don't know what you mean. So they literally hustled me back round to our display and said, you're Friedrich Sianum up there. Are you going to put it in for judging? You've already got second in show. And I didn't know. Because basically, when they set the display up, this plant had gone right up the back in the middle. And my rosette for second international show, which I will quickly go and get, <laughs> that was just sitting on the bench. It was nowhere near the plant. So I didn't know it was mine. And nobody told me. Nobody thought to say, well done on getting a second in an international show. Nobody told me. So anyway, I said, well, it's already been judged then. It's got a second. They said, no, put it in for RHS judging, which I'd never done. <laughs> so I didn't know how for a start. And anyway, chatted through and they, 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 and I said, well, the next problem we've got is how the hell are you going to get that plant down? Because basically they started at the back of the display at the top, worked their way down and then worked their way, way forward, filling the stand as they went until they got to the front. So this was one of the first plants put on to try and get it down. Anyway, uh, a, a very pleasant lady took her shoes off. We started moving some plants and she clambered all over the flipping place and got this plant down. And I said, right, now what do I do? They said, go out the back here, turn right. You'll see the RHS judging tent. There's a big sign outside. Take your plant in, get it registered, and it'll go from there. So I was very nervous, to say the least, because not done all that sort of stuff before. And somebody came along and held my hand. And in a way, it's a good job they did, because part of the form said, you know, genus, dendrobium, species or hybrid, species, right? Friedrichsianum, name of plant. And I said, oh, what the hell goes in here? He said, well, you've got to give it a name. If it gets an award, you're allowed to have a name. I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He said, well, how about your daughter? So I put Hannah in that box and I got an RHS award. So this is the only plant in the world that is allowed to be called Dendrobium friedrichsianum Hannah. And only pieces of this plant or plants produced from seed from this plant can ever be called that. And at the moment, there ain't none. So this is it. <laughs> this is the one. And it's just coming into bloom again. Um, these are not long lasting, but there's not as short lived as some of the others. Um, and it, it, it's opening up quite nicely. And this is not a patch on what it looked like to get its RHS award. Um, but it, it's doing okay. I mean, this, this is less than half the blooms open at the moment. You know, we've got cane up here, another one up here, and all these larger canes down here with buds. So we've got a lot more to go. But um, these are lovely blooms. You can see the sheen on them. I hope the light's catching it on the camera. They are so waxy and sturdy looking. Um, they've only just opened in the last couple of days, so if they've got a fragrance, I can't detect it yet. But this is another one of the yellow dendrobiums that opens quite greenish in the center and then changes color to a more yellow. So that's the story of how that actually got an RHS award last year. And I celebrated. When I got told, I celebrated. I went out and got an ice cream. <laughs> because I didn't have any other means of celebrating at the time. <laughs> but yeah, it was, um, yeah, it was a strange experience. Probably never get repeated now, because to get an RHS award, you have to have a plant in its absolute peak condition at a show where the RHS are judging. Now, if Brexit kicks in the way it is alleged supposed to do, the Big Orchid International shows will, norm, will not take place in England anymore because the hybridizers, the sellers, the traders won't be able to afford to bring their plants into the country for such events. So the number of times the RHS are going to be judging is going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. And as I said, it has to coincide. You have to have a plant in absolute peak condition at a show where the RHS are judging. Well, that, that takes quite a bit of getting together. 
The only time I would ever be in that situation is at Malvern. Well, you know, this year was probably going to be the last ever Malvern show, and we didn't even get that privilege because it's cancelled because of the nonsense that's going on at the moment. So, uh, anyway, that was the little surprise I was hiding up in the corner as Dendrobium friedrichsianum is uh, back with us. Very late bloomer for, you know, in the Dendrobium stakes, because strictly speaking, this is a winter rester. You have to ask yourself, a plant that opens its blooms in the middle of May, what the hell has <laughs> what happened in December, January, and February got to do with May? But it's classed as a renter, cool, bright winter rest, you know, and all that stuff. Um, and it's had it, and um, it's blooming accordingly. Um, yeah, uh, it's also chucking up a shed load of new growths up here. Loads. One, two, three, four. Just four there. There's another one underneath, five, six, seven. Eight new growths on that so far. It may well push up more. So that's eight canes that will mature and bloom at the same time in a given year. Uh, that'll be two years' time. <laughs> That's its cycle. And once this one's finished blooming, there's a lot of these old canes around the back are coming off because they've, they've done their thing. Um, this, these canes don't have repeat blooming like things like Nobilies do where you get some blooms one year but you might get some more the next year. Not on this one. It blooms on the canes normally when they're half leafless, not totally leafless, which is a bit of a shame because the leaves cover up some of the blooms. But that's how it goes. And then after blooming, during the rest of the year, those leaves will fall on those canes. Those canes are then finished. Yeah? But they do hold energy and nutrients and things to get the plant through the winter as a whole. But this plant has got more than enough canes to actually get it through the winter, and it's about to have another load. So I won't have a problem with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's one that doesn't like the light too bright in the summer, otherwise the leaves pale. Doesn't seem to hurt the plant or set it back or anything, but it does drop some color if it gets a bit too much light. But uh, yeah, so that's what I was hiding. And uh, there you go. See you next time. Bye for now. I thought I'd add that on the end. For those of you who didn't see it last year, or, I mean, if you're relatively new, new to the channel, you'd know nothing about all this, because um, this was a last year thing. But this is the RHS certificate you get. So it's a cultural certificate. That's not an award for the plant. It's an award for the grower. Yeah? So the award of merit and the other type of RHS awards are for the plant, the quality of the plant and everything. This is for the grower who achieved it. So it's um, called a cultural certificate. Um, yeah, you, you get your name on it and everything. And that was the first time I ever saw that written down. Dendrobium Friedrichsianum Hannah. Yeah. So that's what you get. And due to a muck up, muck up in their admin, I got two. <laughs> They're identical, but yeah, they sent everything twice. So I got two. <laughs> See you next time.